Hi, I'm Pastor Bill Vigue of Meet of the Word Ministries. Mark chapter 16, Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel of the kingdom. My thought for the day is, what is the gospel? What is the gospel that he wants us to preach? In Matthew chapter uh, chapter 28, his final words, this is it's recorded this way. And Jesus came and he spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And then he goes on to say this, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Again, what is the gospel of Jesus Christ? What is the gospel message for our churches today? Or from, from the very foundation of the church, what was the intent of the, of the gospel? Well, here again in Matthew, we see the very first time that Jesus refers to his gospel. And he says it this way. Keep, keep in mind, he was talking about all power has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore. He didn't tell us to go without the power that he has. He didn't tell us to go without the power of the Holy Spirit. He told us to go with the power of the Holy Spirit. Without the power of the Holy Spirit, Isaiah 28 says we're going to fall and be broken and taken and fall backwards. God doesn't want us to have an empty gospel. He wants us to have a powerful gospel. Now listen carefully to this, this words as Jesus introduces his ministry, found here in Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. It says, And Jesus went about all of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. The gospel of power that Jesus is talking about, the gospel of Jesus Christ, is a gospel of power, and it is a gospel that includes healing the sick, all manner of sickness, all manner of disease, and relieving people of all kinds of sufferings, being a problem solver being a peacemaker. That's what God wants to do in our lives. We got plenty of chaos. We got all kinds of difficulties, all kinds of problems. We've got sickness all around us, disease all around us, sin all around us. We're all infected with it and God wants to provide a remedy. He is the remedy. He has a solution for every crisis, for every problem that all of us go through. But it's not going to deliver people if we just preach a wishy-washy gospel that just goes ahead and says, hey, here are four little steps, four little principles, four little rules that will carry you into heaven. Just confess that you're a sinner. Just admit it. That's not enough. Just repent and believe God that he's your Savior and accept Jesus into your life. That's not enough. You've got to go with the full power of God. You've got to go and teach people and learn to listen to the teachers that are out there of all things that he commanded you. All things. The gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of Jesus Christ is the gospel of power, and it is the gospel of the kingdom to set us free of our sins and our iniquities, but also our sicknesses, our diseases, and the torments of life, the fears of life, the demonic activity that is holding us back, that is wounding us, that is keeping us down. God wants to set us free. He's for you, not against you. He's on your side. He's not trying to break you. He's not trying to destroy you. He's not like the judges of the world. He's not like the Pharisees and the Sadducees that puts burdens on you. He's out there trying to use his fingers, his hands, his church to deliver and rescue you and take the burden away from you. That's my thought for the day. God bless you.